Hello everybody! So nice to see you again! So I am Rachel and I'm hoping that you're going to join me this afternoon for a bow bonanza. That sounds quite interesting and fun I think. Yes! People are starting to join! How lovely to see you guys! Let me know who you are and where you are. Let me see if I can see comments. Yeah, I think I can. Hi, hello, Isabella. Yay, lovely to see you. Hello, Cassie. Oh, I love this, fantastic. Everyone is joining. Hello from Harrogate. Sophie, lovely to see you. I've heard Harrogate's a very nice place. Hello, Julian, which means Joshua's here. Amazing. Hello, Benedetti Foundation. Hello, Claire. Oh, I hope you're well, Claire. Lovely to see you. Amazing. Oh, this is so lovely. Hello, Hannah and Ava from Scotland. Amazing. From Kuwait. Welcome. This is amazing. I'm in London, so welcome to London. Um, Hastings. Oh, I love this. Hello from Elodie. Oh. Just so great. So as everyone's coming in to join me, would you make sure that you've got your violin or viola and your bow, obviously, for the bow bonanza. And also, if you have a pen, that would be really great. And if you happen to have a hairband or elastic band around, that would be really handy as well. Um, so if you've got those things, can you go and grab them from around your house? That would be super, super handy. Amazing. Hello from Egypt. This is incredible. Carterton, Nottingham. <gasps> Amazing. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, hello, London Music Masters. Yay! <laughs> hello, Rachel from Felicity. Lovely to see you, Felicity. Alison and Ava in Aberdeen. Hannah in Dursley. Oh my goodness, how many of you? Thank you so much. Hello, Noel. I've just had a lesson with you. I hope you're ready with your violin and your bow. Hello, Jane. Amazing. So I'm going to get started and I want to talk to you about why is Rachel doing a bow bonanza? Well, the bow is the voice for our violins or violas, okay? And it's really important that we don't just hold it properly, but we make a beautiful sound. Okay, so today we're going to go over again from make, making sure that you've got a beautiful bow hold. It doesn't matter if you've been learning the violin for 25 years. We always need to go back and reassess and look at how we hold the bow so that we can make the most beautiful sound on our violins or violas and also speak with different voices. Okay, it's no good speaking with just one voice on the violin because that would be really boring. We want to speak with an excited voice or a quiet voice or a loud voice or an icy voice or a hard voice you know we want to be able to speak with different voices and that's why we need to work on our bow hold so the first thing i'd like to also say to you is this now ed kreitman who is a fantastic violin teacher in america said this to me he said who does your violin belong to and I said, well, my violin belongs to me. He said, yeah, your violin belongs to you. And then he said, who does your bow belong to? And I said, my bow belongs to me. And he said, no, your bow belongs to your violin. Okay, it's not mine, it belongs to my violin. And we need to make sure that we've got a beautiful relationship between our bow and our violin or viola. So that's what we're gonna work on today. So I want to pop your violin and bows down for now, okay? We're going to start off by just having a little shake out. Stand up please, no sitting down, no lazy bones there. Standing up, have a shake, excellent. All the way up to the ceiling, all the way down to the floor, in the middle, and can you roll your wrists? Excellent, you can hear all my rings and bracelets jangling. Very good, and can you do this with your fingers? Creepy crawly spiders, yeah, really creepy crawly spiders. Good. And then, can you also make some jellyfish like this? Can you do jellyfish? You can do it with both hands. Jellyfish like this. Very good. And we're going to talk a lot today about flexibility and relaxing and being soft with your fingers. Okay. 
so lots of jellyfish. And now can you imagine you're throwing a custard pie at someone that you want to put a custard pie in their face? <laughs> so I'm thinking about doing it to my sister. But don't tell her. Don't tell her. That's it. Custard pies at this. That's it. And do you see my fingers going long, round and long like this? Hello, Varshika. Amazing. So lovely to see you. Hey, Mabel. Amazing. Very, very good. Okay. So these are really good exercises to start when before we play any violin or viola. So rolling wrists, lots of creepy crawly spiders, custard tart throwing, some jellyfish. Very, very good. Now, when you first started learning, maybe you'll start, maybe you started learning recently, you may have learned to make a bunny. Now, this is, I'm making my bunny with my right arm, okay? So can you make your bunny with your right arm? hand okay now what you need to do is you need to get your two middle fingers if you're not used to doing this and it's really important that you put them over the thumbnail of your thumb now even if you know how to do this I want you to do it with me now and I want you to go over the steps with me and we're going to perfect our bow holds okay so please can you put your two middle fingers over your thumbnail like this amazing wow I see some really good ones can you show me right up to your camera Gosh, there's some very good ones out there. Very good. Make sure it's not like this. Make sure it's over the thumbnail. Very good. Now, do you see my bunny's ears? They're nice and round. They're not like this. That's like a bunny that's just heard something. But okay, I want nice, soft, happy ears. Okay, now, can you give those ears a little flop like this? Floppy ears. That's it. And can you make your bunny sniff like this? Very good, that's it, he's nice and soft. Now you know like a marshmallow, you know marshmallows are really soft and lovely and all squishy. Can you do with your other hand, can you check that this is all squishy and lovely, yeah? Make sure that this here, this muscle is nice and squishy. There's no ten tension, yeah? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an experiment. Can you put your bunnies like this? And we're gonna go, and we're gonna squeeze bunnies like this. Can you squeeze your bunnies? Good, squeeze your bunnies and now release them. Oh. And now squeeze your bunnies, good. And release them, very good. And look, nice and soft. Very, very good. Fantastic, now shake them out. And I'm gonna count down from three. You're gonna make your best bunny. Three, two, one. I'm checking, can I see Isabella's? Can I see Rose's? Can I see Noelle's? Can I see Zara's? Oh. Amazing, can I see Joshua's? Very good. Remember, it doesn't matter how many times, how many times you've done this in your lives, go back and do it again. It's so important. Very good. And I want you to feel what it feels like with your thumb against the back of your fingers there. It's really important about how it feels. Okay, very good. Last bunny. Three, two, one. Now, the other thing is, is can you see through it? Can you see my eye? through my bunny. Can you see my eye? Hello. Good. Can you look through yours, please? If yours is like this, that's not, that's, that's a fox. And foxes eat bunnies. So can you make sure it's a lovely bunny and you can see through? Very, very good. Well done. Okay. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to grab a pen. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to get a pen. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, zero. Very good. Now, what I would like you to do is take your bow hand and wave it at me. Hold the pen in the other hand. And what I would like you to do is draw three lines, right? I'm just going to show you before you do it. Now, my first line is on this first crease of my index finger. First crease of my second finger first crease of my third finger and then on the tip of my little finger. Can you draw those on now? Now parents and carers at home, can you just support your children in doing that for me please? I'd be super grateful. Okay, well done. Hello Julian, so lovely to see you. Thank you for joining and then I'm just going to draw to make it a bit more fun. Some train tracks. So I've got train tracks on my fingers. They look like a bit like stitches. Okay, good. Now the other thing I'd like you to do 
is on the thumb, draw a nice smiley face like that. Do you see when I bend my thumb, you can really see it. When I don't bend my thumb, you can't really see my smiley. Very good. Okay, so you've got your train track and a little one on the tip of your finger. Okay, good. Now what I'd like you to do is to take your train track and what we're going to do is you're going to make a pretend bow with your first finger on your left hand okay so can you make a little bow like this with your left index finger then what we're going to do is we're going to lay our train track on the finger like this and then just lay the fingers off and then we're going to pop the little one on top and then we're going to pop the little thumb underneath now as you can see the train tracks are stopping my fingers going too far over like this so just lay on the train tracks, that's it. Some lovely round, relaxed fingers, little one sat on the top, look how round she is, and then my thumb on the bottom, okay? And do you see, I can still see through my bow hold, okay? And you can feel how tight you're holding the bow. I don't want you to grip the bow, I want you to just hold your finger very lightly, very lightly. Good, can we shake it out? and put the train tracks on, little one on top, thumb underneath, making sure that you've got a bent thumb, make sure you can see your smiley. Very good, how are we getting on? Have you got a beautiful, beautiful bow hold set up? Is it coming along really nicely? Can you say yes or no? I can see you nodding yes, because you're all so fabulous. You wouldn't be here otherwise. Look at you guys spending your afternoon working on your bow holds, how impressed am I? Very. Shake them out, just do it again. So find your train tracks, lay it on your finger, little one on top, thumb underneath. Very good. Remember, we're not squeezing our bow. Now, if I squeeze, I really hurt my finger. I don't want to hurt myself. Lovely, soft bow hold, fantastic. Now, can you get, oh, look at all these yeses. Thank you everyone for your yeses. Can you now take your pen back or a pencil, whatever you like? I've actually got a carrot here that I can work with, um, but if you've got a pen, that's even better. Now we're just going to try it with this, and now I want you to put your train tracks, touching the, the pen or whatever you've got, put the little one on top and your thumb underneath. Now you can see my bent thumb smiley, I can still see you through my bow hold, and I've got lovely round fingers. Do you notice that my Mr. One is not overly hooked over? Really make sure that he's not too hooked over because if he does, look what happens to the little finger when I hook him over. We don't want this shape. We don't like mountains in violin. We love hills. Yeah, hills, not mountains, hills. Okay, very, very good. Okay, one more time. Put it on your pen, pencil or whatever you're using. Train tracks, one on top, bent thumb. Very, very good, fantastic. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our bows and we're gonna try on our bows. So can you get your bows for me, please, guys? Oh, it's so nice to see you, Taka and Kiko. So lovely to see you. So, by the way, I'm so sorry if this is flipped. No, this is, this is my right hand, this is my left hand. I'm sorry if it's a mirror image. I did try to flip it and then I got confused about what you'd see. So I'm so sorry. So sorry, everyone. No, I'm playing with the right hand. So now, can you put your bow on your left shoulder, okay, and just hold the wood so that your shoulder is holding the weight of the bow. And can you make for me your beautiful bunnies? And what we're going to do is we're going to put our train tracks on the bow and we're going to lay the fingers across the bow. We're going to put our bent thumbs underneath. If you, that's where you put your thumb at the moment, leave it there. If it's not, you can put it inside. And then what I want you to do is I want you to put your little pinky on top. Now notice my pinky is not on the metal. Who likes standing on a metal floor? I don't. Wood is much warmer, okay? Metal is cold on the toes. Keep it on the wood, okay? Do you see my fingers are just lying across the bow? My Mr. One is not overly hooked over. He's just on that train track. He's just on that train track. Okay, really, really important. And making sure also, can you check that your fingers are not like this? That they're just lying on the bow, lying on the bow. Do you remember how it felt? You know, I said, how does it feel on the thumb of your nail? Well, now the bow is the thumb of the nail, yeah? 
Do you feel that? Now, can you check that your smiley is looking at you beautifully? Because if your thumb is like that, you've squashed my smiley. Don't squash my smiley. Make sure that you've got a beautiful smiley like this. Oh my goodness, show me your smileys. Yeah, I'm seeing some very good ones. Guys, I am so impressed with you already. Fabulous. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them back on our left shoulder, imagining we've just got our bow on a violet, and we're gonna do 10 taps with each finger. Are you ready? We're gonna go 10 taps with the little one. Where do you go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're gonna do it with this one, this finger with all of my little elephant rings on. Ready, go. And now this one, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now with the first finger, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Amazing. Now we're going to do something a little bit trickier. We're going to do the two middle fingers together. Are you ready? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this is hard and I don't know if you can do it, but I think you're going to have a go, aren't you? We're going to do this one and this one together. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I found that one quite, quite hard. Now we're going to do the creepy crawly spider thing. So if you can put your thumbs inside, guys, inside the bow, we're going to do some creepy... Now, I strive to struggle because my bow's a bit broken, but you're going to creepy crawl all the way up the bow like this. Now the trick is not to cheat and let it slip through your fingers, okay? And not let the bow do this the whole way. So just crawling up your bow like this. Oh, excellent. Well done, Evelyn, for getting your bow exercises done. Hello, Alice Kent. And now crawling backwards is super hard. Make sure you're doing this over a carpeted area or something soft. So if you accidentally drop your bow, it's okay and it won't break. Rachel better be careful because she's on the wooden floor. Rachel's not doing very good. It's really hard to crawl back, isn't it? So that's another one you can do. And now I want you to go back to your bow holds here and hold your thumb, put your thumb wherever, wherever you have learned to put it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do windscreen wipers. So we're just going to go like this. Okay, now notice when you do that one, how strong your little pinky needs to be. She's still round, but she's being extra strong. Okay, now we're going to go back that way. <gasps> and do you feel the little finger, little pinky's not holding it anymore? Yeah, it's all lovely and loose. Now let's go back to the other one. Ooh, yeah, now the little finger's working quite hard. And let's go back. Ooh, not working so hard anymore. Okay, so that's another one you can try, windscreen wipers. Now we're going to put, can you make a little ring like this and hold the tip of your bow like this? And what we're going to do is we're going to do some Salt and pepper shaking, salt and pepper shaking, salt and pepper shaking. Look at my lovely wrist just moving up and down. I'm not going like this. My arm, imagine your arm is in a cast and you can't move your arm, you can only move your wrist up and down. <laughs> yeah, just up and down with the wrist. Very good, now we're gonna do a first finger check. Is your first finger still just lying on the train track and not too hooked over? Good. Excellent, excellent work. Fantastic. Now, I want you to put your bow down. Have a shake. Well done, everyone. Whoa, I know that your bow holds just got so much better. Well done. Important, if there are teachers watching and a few older students, it isn't actually what it looks like, it's what it feels like. It should feel soft, it should feel relaxed, and it should feel very natural and not forced and full of tension. So just be aware of that when we're talking. It's very easy to get caught up with what it looks like. Okay, students, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on the bow arm. We need to work on the rest of the arm. So we're gonna do Rachel's favorite exercise, which is of course, the spaghetti. Who remembers the spaghetti? Uncooked spaghetti. Stretch, 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 stretch. And uh oh, we're going in the boiling water and we're going to start getting loose and blobby. Very good. And then spaghetti. Uh, and then all loose. 
very good. Now, some of you are getting so good at spaghettis. I've heard all sorts of stories about the spaghetti. Some people's favourite thing is spaghetti exercise. <laughs> now, what I'd like us to do, everyone, is we're going to become birds. Now, do you remember sometimes I said, I said this a few weeks ago, I said, you know when you see a comedy, a comedy or a comic, and the bird is doing this, they fly like this. But real birds, they actually fly. So can we be real birds? Good, let's pretend to be a comic bird. And now lovely wings. Yeah, really, really, really good. Or an octopus. I'd like to be an octopus. Lovely and flexible. Now we're gonna draw our shoulders up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And relax. Very good. And squeeze, 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 squeeze. And relax. Very good. Now what I want you to do is if you have a hairband or an elastic band, can you put it on your wrist for me? On your bow arm wrist. I'm gonna get you, give you 10 seconds, 10. Very good, okay? So if you've got, this will be this, I want you to hold it with your left hand, okay? Now I want you to feel how heavy your arm feels. Look, I'm not doing anything with my arm. If I drop my elastic band now, my arm will fall. Okay, so I want you to feel how heavy your arm is. Now, mummies, daddies, parents or carers, you could hold your child's bow arm like this with the band. And I want them to get a sense of dead weight, yes? So it really needs to be dead weight. Now, sometimes people really struggle to do dead weights because they're still holding their arm. But I want you to feel, guys, what it feels like to be really heavy, like you're asleep, like your arm's gone to sleep, okay? Because we need that on our violins or violas to make a beautiful, deep tone, okay? So lovely, lovely, heavy arms. We don't want pushing or squeezing in our strings, we want heavy arms. So if you've got that sorted, brilliant. I want you to try a lot of this at home because I think it's a fantastic way of understanding how heavy our arms are. Okay, you could even get your siblings to hold your arms or something and be like a puppet. <laughs> okay, what I want you to do now is I want you to stretch up in the sky and I want you to imagine, I'm gonna move back a little bit, I want you to imagine that there's a shelf here with a beautiful cup of your favorite drink. Now my favorite drink is probably chocolate milkshake, okay? So I'm gonna reach up to my shelf, get my glass of chocolate milkshake and then I'm going to bring it down without spilling it. Can you do the same now? So you're gonna reach up, grab your lovely drink and bring it down like this without spilling it. Did some of you do this? If you did, it would have gone all down me. So make sure that your elbow comes down first so that you don't spill it. Good, one more time. Really good. Excellent guys, well done. Okay, so now we're gonna combine our lovely, soft, relaxed bow arm with our beautiful bow fold. So can you pick up your violin or viola and your bow? So stand in rest position first and can you make your best bow hold? So we've just worked on bow hold. So remember, you're going to put your train tracks on the bow, little one on top, bent thumb underneath. Very good, okay? Now point the tip up to the sky. Make sure your feet are nice and balanced and can you get your violins or violas into playing position, please? Now, can you wave at me so that I know you're holding your violins or violas with your head weight and not anything else? Very, very good, fantastic. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to fly our bows in like this, okay? I'm gonna to tip to the A string. We're gonna do a few exercises on the A string. Now we want to make, a. now we've got a beautiful bow hold, we want to make a beautiful sound, okay? So what I want us to do is I want us to do a few circle bows, okay? Short ones, and we're gonna make our violins or violas ring, okay? Ring. So I don't want this. Did you hear it went stop the sound? I want a lovely. Did you hear a ring? Yeah, so can we all do that together? So I'm gonna go one, two, three, ring. Okay, all together. So nice and short, I'm gonna make it ring. One, two, three. Good, and I want you to try and see how long you can make it last for the ring. Are you ready? One, two, 
three. Ooh. Now I've got a bigger violin than some of you, so it will ring a little bit longer. Can we now tip to the D string and do the same on the D string? Are you ready? Feel nice and balanced. Do you see my shoulders are not up like this? I've got lovely relaxed shoulders. Both shoulders are nice and relaxed, okay? My violin is like a table, okay? The weight of the bow is in my arm, into the string. Are you ready? One, two, three. I love the D string when it rings. Are you ready? Should we do it again? One, two, three. That was a really good one. Now, can we tip to the G string? Can you make sure that you're still really balanced? In fact, I'd like us to fly our bow arms out like this so that the tip is facing the ceiling. Then you're gonna bring your bow into the E string and using your wrist, you're gonna do a tip to the A, tip to the D, tip to the G, making sure that your arms are not like this, okay? You've got a lovely balanced bow arm on the G string and we're gonna go, after three, we're gonna make the G string ring. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yourself check your bow hold has got lovely round fingers is your smiley face still on your thumb lovely relaxed shoulders no shoulders up like this one two three violins ring. My goodness! Absolutely amazing. Very good. Now we're going to do on the E string now. So can you fly your bows out, fly your bows into the E string and we're going to try and make our E strings ring. Are you ready? Remember we don't want a crunch at the beginning of the note so make sure there is no crunch. Are you ready? One, two, three. Well done everyone, fantastic. Now, we're going to pop our violins and our bows down. Now, I'm running out of time. I've only got about three minutes left. So I just wanted to open it up to anyone that has any questions. I think we're gonna have to do some more of this at some point. I had so many more exercises that I wanted to do. But the main thing I wanted to do with you today was make sure that our bow holds are the most beautiful thing to both look at but also to feel that they're like marshmallows, that they're really flexible because when we, when we go on to do more complicated things with our bows and our music, we need to be able to, be able to do those things with a lovely soft and flexible bow hold. So I hope that you can take some of these ideas that I've done with you today into your lessons with your teachers, okay, and become very balanced and flexible players. Okay, so really important because we want you to be the best you can be. Okay, the Benedetti Foundation really, really loves a good, balanced, healthy posture. So if you've got any questions, I'll just wait a couple of minutes, see if there's any questions. But if there's not, that's absolutely fine. I will finish in approximately a minute if there are no questions. How do you make your left hand thumb not very stressful? So the left hand thumb, that's almost another session, but it's all about making sure that your violin or viola is supported with your head weight. If it's supported with the head weight, you won't need to grip with the thumb at all. Now I would do some exercises like going up and down the violin without your thumb. Yeah, going up and down without the thumb and then just putting the thumb lightly there and then going up and down the violin. Yeah, or playing something whilst wiggling your thumb around like this. Okay, so always checking it's nice and limber and loose if that helps. Oh, I'm so pleased that this has been helpful. Oh, I'm so pleased. Um, you are so, so welcome. Thank you so, so much for joining. Oh, let's see. How do I know whether I am using the correct bow hold if I am performing? Oh, how do you been? How do, I... do you know what? The way you know if something is right or wrong is often the way it feels. First of all, if it's painful, it's wrong because we don't want 
to our bodies to be in any pain whatsoever. So first of all, how does it feel? Does it feel comfortable? Does it feel easy? Or does it feel like very hard work? That's one way of telling. <laughs> um, so I am going to leave you all now to enjoy the rest of your day. It is, um, the sun has suddenly come out. So maybe go outside, it's been raining all day. So go and have a beautiful afternoon. Go and get some fresh air. It's been a joy to be with you all this afternoon. Um, thank you for, for making an effort to be with the Benedetti Foundation. We are loving working with you all. So big love and I will see you very, very soon, no doubt. Take care.